My fourth and final presentation of learning as an active ally. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm honored to be able to be joined here with one of our staff members, Nicole. <laughs> Everyone else had their, you know, look, my supervisor came. Look, my supervisors are supposed to be here. Um, <laughs> but yes, I, I was placed at uh, Public Allies uh, for this year. Last year I was placed at St. Jude Paul. Um, and uh, during the mid-year uh, presentation of learning, um, I had talked about the value of knowing you can change. And uh, really kind of focusing on knowing that you can make something new out of your life. Um, and it's interesting how that theme of change has uh, definitely progressed through the rest of the year and really through both years of my uh, public ally service. Um, <clears throat> there's uh, a, a saying that I kind of uh, came up with to kind of encompass the, the lessons that I've probably learned the most uh, professionally and personally this year. Um, and I would say everything can change in a single moment, but really, Everything has built up to a single breaking point. And in the end, the right thing to do is the right thing. And you'll know it. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there were several things that happened in the last 10 months that uh, was just split second. Everything, the game changed. And uh, probably the first thing that comes to mind is going from St. Vincent to Paul, where I was a pantry coordinator and slinging cans and um, making sure hungry people have something to eat, um, to being in an office with three other people and having a, a lot of independent work to do and um, a lot of time to just figure out what to do with it. Um, and I, I was kind of charged with coming up with a curriculum for a workforce development program uh, geared towards uh, opportunity youth who want to go into nonprofits. Kind of like a preliminary public allies. And I had never done anything like this before. Um, I had never really developed a program, if you will. So it was really scary. And it was literally just one week, I'm driving a truck and slinging cans. And the next week, I'm doing something completely different. And it took me a while to adjust. You know, and probably the, the second thing that is, is pretty personal, um, one of my friends, uh, Tegan, Tegan Rowan Stryker. Um, <coughs> Tegan uh, had, was a good friend of mine for uh, the last maybe five years, and in March, um, she committed suicide. And um, it, it was really sudden, and um, was un unexpected for a lot of her friends, um, and it, it changed the game. You know, it was a, a, a game changer. You know, uh, you know, all of my friends were connected to her in, in some way. So you know, everyone that I knew was kind of dealing with this on, on some level. Um, and you know, that's kind of the, the, the first part of the, that lesson that I learned. Let me, let me read that to you one more time. It, it, it's important. Everything can change in a single moment, but really everything has built up to a single breaking point. And in the end, the right thing to do is the right thing, and you'll know it. Um, and you know, thinking about how everything builds up to a single breaking point. Um, you know, thinking about uh, going into uh, my fellow year. Uh, and going into a completely different work setting. Um, I, I was a little apprehensive. I wasn't sure what was going to go down. Um, but, you know, in hindsight, I had been building up so much momentum. And I had been building so, so much skills and, and so many um, different ways of thinking about how to accomplish and it really 
surprised me how how much that came back for me and, and really gave that for me. Um, <clears throat> the the program that I had coordinated uh, started about March 21st on Saturdays, and um, my my friend Tegan had passed on March 23rd, and so all of these things have all kind of like built up to this one point, and it was one of the most difficult things to you know, keep things with the program moving and keep going personally myself. Um, and I, I learned a whole lot of um, how to balance life and work and all of it at once, because I had never dealt with you know, losing someone so close. Um, and you know, thinking about suicide, thinking about mental illness, and you know, I, I talk about this because I think it's important um, that, you know, as, as sudden as it was, there were a lot of things that built up to it. You know, our, our friends all kind of knew that, you know, Tegan didn't have access to things that she really needed. You know, she didn't have great access to mental health care that she needed um, and, you know, other things. And you know, thinking back, there there were things that you know we we saw and we didn't catch. And it's not our fault that happened, but it, it's that remembering that things just don't happen. There's things that lead up to a single breaking point. And kind of my my, my last uh, reflection is. And in the end, the right thing to do is the right thing, and you'll know it. And um, when I went to Tegan's memorial, um, I had uh, spoken with her stepdad. And it was a, a really interesting conversation for me because I recently pretty much become a stepdad myself. Um, and I was talking to him, and just kind of apprehensive, yet again, of you know, what the future holds for me. And he said, you know, in, in the end, whatever you do, you know, the, the right thing is the right thing to do. And you'll know it. And that was a quote for, from him. Um, and I, I, I wasn't sure how to handle how to talk to my friends and talk to people about it. I wasn't sure how to handle um, a, an entire program all on my own. And, you know, it, when it came down to it, I, I found the right thing. Because you just know what the right thing is. Once you find it, you might not always find the right thing first. That's, that's an important point to make, that the, the first thing you do may not be the right thing. But when you find the right thing, you'll know it. And um, I, I found that the best thing for Flock was to do the most that I could um, and find as many resources for our participants and to really make the most of the opportunities that we had with our uh, different service opportunities throughout the community. And I, I was more than pleasantly surprised to see how many of the participants are going on to doing other AmeriCorps programs or uh, doing volunteer service when they didn't feel like they were open enough or had the skills to do volunteer service um, and how rewarding they, they, they feel now. Um, so, you know, in, in the end, I, I, I think that it all works out. Um, the, at the beginning of the year, I was um, Again, apprehensive. I wasn't sure, um, but looking back, I, I see that I should be sure, and I also have found that I, this too shall pass, and life continues. Um, and you know, in, in the queer community, uh, there's the, a saying from the Trevor Project. If anyone's familiar with the Trevor Project, um, that it gets better, and you know. I, I can agree with that to a point, 
but it doesn't always get better. It, it'll get worse, and then it might get better, and then it might get a lot worse, and it ebbs and it flows. But the, the one thing that I can say to, to that statement is it may not always get better, but it will always become worth it. Thanks again for being here.